Hey everyone, welcome to Small Screen Reactions. My name is Andrew and I'm here to react to Season 4, Episode 4 of Outer Banks. The penultimate episode before the mid-season finale. And then we have to wait till Part 2. I uh, It's only two days after the episode, since the season came out. The first five episodes for Part 1 came out on Netflix and I'm already at this episode. I'm most definitely finishing Episode 5 and part, slash Part 1 um, this weekend, which means... Oh, I just have to wait weeks until the next ep next episodes, the second half. So far, I'm enjoying this first half. Uh, this new mystery and treasure hunt for the necklace, now Blackbeard's treasure. Yes. Uh, there's a curse. There's multiple dead bodies by now. There's love. There's betrayal. There's a lot of stuff going on. They've almost died multiple times. I'm still afraid of... If I already was already afraid of scuba diving after this show, definitely not scuba diving. No way. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> but I will enjoy this show. <laughs> uh, what I'm looking forward to, uh, Rafe and JJ, because I always like to see more of them, no matter what it is. But yeah, uh, let's see. We are on Patreon right now. Episode one just came out today as I'm filming this. So, if you go to Patreon right now, by the time you're watching this episode, episode 5 will already be out for sure. Depending on the time, episode 6 for part 2 may be out. Depending on when this comes out, I can't remember exactly when this will come out and when part 2 comes out. Actually, no. This is going to be coming. No, it's not. Mm, maybe. I'm trying to think. There might be a connection where episode 5... Next week's episode might be coming out on YouTube around the same time part two comes out. I don't know. Just check out Patreon, link down below, to get unedited reactions to this show and all of my other shows, unedited and very early. So check it out. Um, literally, the first three episodes of the five episodes are going to be on Patreon before episode one even comes out on YouTube. So, crazy. And all my other shows too, Hot Stop or all those other ones, go check it out. Uh, other than that... Just don't forget to like, subscribe, the usual stuff, and without further ado, here we go. Ooh, the music. It's about to happen. Oh, they're about to realize Cleo's missing. Oh no. So. Ruffles. Right over the pond. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. If you grew up on this, you could just tell. Well, no matter where you were, surf. You could hear it. I'm about to go surfing. Okay. And it didn't matter what you were planning on doing that day. Oh wow! Everyone closes out. Really? They can do that? You hit the brake. Wow. I'm that not a surfer, so I don't know. I don't get it. Bro, it's probably the best of the year. Come on, are you guys serious? Right, so this is more. Oh, I don't oh, see Cleo oh. though. Is this during the summer or this current? I have in my hand 50k, so I'm looking into this. Uh, okay, so it's current. Oh, you just heard me no one's talking about Cleo yet. No one's noticed. The other swell does. Oh, oh wow. Oh. Mm -hmm. well, that's like saying there's other pizzas to eat, all right? Like, come on now. Wow. Are you serious? <laughs> earth mother, she's like begging you to surf. I think my earth mother is telling me to maximize her intel. Oh my gosh. Mm. He's so straight laced. You want to maximize the beach day? I'm going to maximize this tan. Mm. Uh, well, everyone have fun maximizing that. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Where, where's Clea? Yeah, finally. Yeah, she just texted me. Yeah. She said that oh, she no. was on poke. You guys have fun catching nasty one for me, right? Miss you already. You're going to meet us there? Fuck. They don't even know Cleo's gone. Beach. All we got to do is move here in the shore and snatch that trinket. Oh, shit. Yeah. It's still there. But Pope has it. I'm just trying to be helpful. So he's not in charge of them. Okay. He's just working for him and the lady. I have a feeling he still cares about Cleo and doesn't want to see her hurt. I'm trying to help. I don't know if I trust him. Oh, okay. Some kind of treat. You gotta give it to him, see? I talked to 
but I'll kill it all of y'all. So whatever you got, you gotta put me He's out. He's lying to try to get the answers from her. Marty. Some bad, bad boys. It's cause mercenaries kill us. So oh, that's not good. Them, you got to give them what they're asking for, see? No. Yes, sir. I'm coming. I just need you to trust me, all right? I don't. You trust me. I do think he does care about her some way. Maybe it's hard to tell. Yeah, I mean, well, they all went in on the deal, but I guess Hollis just shut him out, and she doesn't like him. Yeah, well, here's the thing. Here she goes, what scheming. Is that all those smug ass developers who hang out at the club, they all freaking hate me. I mean, they hated my dad too. So, I'm not surprised. Like father, like son. To stick it to them, you know. I don't know if I... Ooh, he loves sticking it to people. I know this sounds awful, but I hate the beach. I love the ocean, hate the beach. The sand is just gets everywhere. I don't want to lay in there. I don't want to sit on it. You get, It's not comfy. It's hot. It's sunny. The beach, the sand is hot. It's, mm, no. The pool, yes. Sand, beach, no. I love a good boat. I love being on the ocean itself. Kooks. Fuck. You're joking. They can't go anywhere else. Come on. Anywhere but here. Oh, Topper. Who's that chick? <laughs> Don't stop. Don't stop. Why would you, why would you want to be near them? Like, should it? There's an entire beach. Yeah. You, you hate them, don't you? Why would you want to be near them? So lame. It's that whole. Let's measure each other's dick contest, really. Right. My brother's here. They still hint at the Rafe and Kiara stuff. I could see it, maybe, if Rafe were to suddenly change. But as Rafe is. Coming. Anything he wants. What does he ever want? Yeah, why is he? I got him. Okay. It's gonna be cool. I know, I know. Oh god. Okay. Don't have another fight. Don't want any trouble out there. For that. Oh, they're so about to fight in the waves. Glad we cleared that up. <laughs> I think. I mean, it's not me who usually starts anything. Well, right, like, um, technically not true, but also kind of true. On my house. Hi, dude. I'm I'm very sorry about that. I I had nothing to do with it. Mm, yeah. Right. Totally. Yeah. Over here, kind of buried the hatchet with you. Mm -hmm. I got no beef with you. All right. You Where's pushed him off a tower, a lighthouse. Then totally cool, you beat him up. Yeah. And then you light his house on fire. I think, let's oh, stop this. That? Well, and then you each took your girlfriend multiple times. It's messy. You really think it's even? You guys sunk my boat. Allegedly. Forgot about that. Me, put me in the ER. Remember that? Yeah, that's it true. Good. Oh, that felt good? Yeah. But you also pushed him off a lighthouse, remember? First, bro. And if your girl comes to me, she can't resist. Oh, God, Topper. I'm I'm only human. He always starts off sounding like a nice guy, and then he turns into a douche by the end. Glad we had this talk. Good chat. Yeah, great chat. You came to where they were already at. You can't tell them to leave now. Go like a half a mile down. Go like five minutes down, and you'll be fine. Away from them. Be rude. Here. You listen to but, what you say, Cleo. Yeah, but Pope has it, so. What is it anyway? What's it used for? Don't worry about it. It's ours. You can at least answer a few questions. You have a gun to her back. Is it in there? Nope. 
think I'm playing with you, Mom. She doesn't. Nope. My friends. There's like multiple other people here. Where is it? It's over here. Just Please say there's a weapon hidden over here. Here it is. Give it to me. You okay? He wants it. Give it to him. Oh, 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 so close. God damn. Mm. Oh. Oh god. Okay, guns dropped. Okay. 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 Oh. Oh. Shit, shit, shit. Please say his friend came and helped. Please say he left the boat. Pick up the balls. Something off the eyes. But oh god. There we go. Oh god. Get the gun. Someone get why mm. You kill her. You not go get what you come here for. Yeah. He's not the brightest. He's a henchman. Not a yeah. my, friend, my friend must have taken it. Yeah, your friends gonna the friends are not gonna give it to you if she's dead. Dabbling in rare artifacts. Uh -huh. Showing it to him, okay. Half moon to the North Star. Living what does that mean? Can't keep her. Sounds like directions. Yeah, exactly. Like, but what? Yeah. Punch. Most likely somewhere Blackbeard himself had been, no? Yeah, yeah but I mean, like, that's half a globe. <laughs> yeah. We do. Where do the living and the dead collide, Mr. Hayward? I don't a know. Cemetery? Maybe. A hospital? I don't know. Uh -huh. I mean, it could be anywhere. Okay. Then How the about moon? Half moon. Half I moon. Maybe mean like a time referring to the lunar calendar or something. Maybe. Or a place. Yeah, like I thought. Half, half moon, moon Bay. Bay. Maybe uh, half moon Beach. Looked into both of those real places, but yeah. I checked out everywhere Blackbeard landed. Cross reference with half moon. Yeah. Maybe you get lucky. A bar. A ship. Keep your eye on the road. Eye on the road. For the whole night. We docked with the Marine, so we did. Yeah, the whole night. He was the friend. I, I'm sure there's, I don't believe in that sort of thing, but can you say he's wrong? Look what happened. Larissa died. I don't trust him, nope. My baby. And now, Wes. I'm smelling so much bullshit on this man. All gone. And who does the land go to? That's to you. The land goes to the state. Oh, not to you. I just, I just want to get away. But it's over the state, which is what uh, Hollis wants. Sorry. Probably. I'll give you a moment here. <laughs> he is faking this. Check it out. BS. BS, 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 BS. Although I, I think the, those, those, uh, those people we hired might have been in the area. Uh, no. To clarify, the kids he hired were close to the house the night West and Rim. Bullshit. I think so. He's trying to set them up. How would you even know that? Oh, God. You think she would want to talk? Ra no, she can come to me if she wants. <laughs> Rafe is too stubborn to have an actual conversation with Sarah or anyone. It's a good place to start. Looking for Half Moon. Is it a name of a person, a nickname? Is it a boat, a, a place, a thing? The 
Half moon. 1700s. Oh. Half moon battery. Okay. Half moon battery. Okay. There we go. What's up, pal? Oh, I can't complain on a day like this. All right? No. Maybe these yeah, guys can there. bond there over surfing and the waves. But I doubt it. Yeah, baby. That's all me. Yeah, that's all you, Top. Go, baby. Uh, of course, JJ is gonna go in. <laughs> oh, JJ can't help it. Yeah, <laughs> literally, JJ could not if he even tried. Going away to turn. Yeah, we'll teach him. Yeah, I'll, I'll text him real quick. Hey, JJ, can you? <laughs> Not that deep, bro. Oh, it's really not that deep. <laughs> oh, JJ. I need you to grab the amulet and bring it to the bunkhouse. Yeah, yeah I mean, I can swing it now. Now. Wait, what's going get, on? Get, so get there's some tension. Hear it. Get lovers. Amulet right now. They're going to kill me. There you go. Okay. Oh, yo. You have until four to bring the artifact. Get the others now and set, make a plan. Something Scooby Doo it. 24 minutes. 24 minutes? That's it? Okay, never mind. I thought we had time for like an hour to plan. Don't have time to get the other people. Hey, you got the other uh, blanket cable? Oh, that was you. What? Guys, there's a turtle hat. Turtle! Aww. Oh my god. Yo. Aww. <laughs> They're so Whoa. cute. They look Ooh. CGI as fuck, though. Alright, solid day, bro. I don't know what JJ's deal was, man. That was total bullshit jumping in on you like that. It's move on. Violence is violence, man. Instead of whining about it, let's drift. What are you gonna do? No. You're gonna kill these turtles. No. Alright, I told them we're gonna be cool. Yeah, peace. Yeah, he jumped in on you, bro. That's not that big a deal. Base. Doesn't seem fair, does it? Oh my god. I, mean, are you cool with that I don't love his girlfriend at all. So weak. Oh my god. Really gonna call him weak. You're enabling, Topper. Enabling? So problem with you in the first place. And now mm. just run all over you. Oh, run all over just, that's funny. Mm, mm. Well, I'm gonna make me go by myself. Or maybe one of these guys wants to go with me instead. She's such a manipulative little bitch. Tapa's actually trying to do the good thing and be a good guy, and she's like, stop being a little bitch. I'm like, fuck you. We should make a, like, a, like a highway, yeah? I'm down. A turtle yeah, highway. A turtle highway. Come on, kid. What, what's the call, though? No, don't run them over. This bitch is crazy. Ruthie, you insane little bitch. Oh my god. You just killed a bunch of baby turtles. You s you're a psychotic bitch. Go die. She is psychotic. Oh my god. Fuck her. I hope she dies. I hope she gets shot by someone, drowned in the ocean, fuck off. Yeah, I agree with you. These people suck. Why don't hang out with them? No. We own this beach, all right? You don't like own anything, you teenage punks who live off your rich parents' money. Like multiple dead will be Aww. These fucking psychopaths. And they have no care in the world. 
Yeah, go go tell them off. You know, yeah, Kiara needs to do this. Totals are her passion, her love, and... Not today. Yeah, I think this is Key's fight. Let her, let her make them feel. No, JJ, let her do this. You've done worse. She needs. Cause you fucking killed baby turtles. Mm. Look what you did. Is this okay? No, look at it. Yeah, look at it. You idiot. Yeah, you dumb fucking idiot. Tapa, shut up. Don't say anything. All right, but it was only one. I mean, look, there's so many more of them. You dumb. Catches what, like, mm. The woods. I want to call to. I'm not gonna have to. Yeah, you know what? You oh. should go throw that to the seagulls. It's like love life, right? You I were life. a oh, fucking you... psychopath, you bitch. Cycle of life. Air move key. You're laughing and giggling about killing a baby turtle. There's something seriously wrong. With you people. Very wrong. Yeah, Topper, take that in. Yeah, that's right. Get back to your side, Key. Really? You killed a baby turtle. Your speakers. Not a big deal. Again. I'll come back and kill every single one of you. Amen. Was that a death yes, and. We got you on video, bro. So? I've seriously never hated them more. Same. Honestly, I've hated them, but like this is. Killing baby turtles. I'm with Key here. So, you. Oh my god, you princess little bitch. Let's press charges. He said, I'll kill you if you come near us. This is not protecting yourself. This is being stupid. God, it's pissing me off. So stupid. All good shit, Rosie. I hate them. My blood is boiling. <laughs> I need my little stress pig. Now. That's the most pissed off any show has made me in a while. No signal. Oh no, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Ah, ah, ah. ah. Oh god. Someone needs to answer the damn phone. Oh my god, don't kill a baby. We just killed turtles. Oh, oh, oh. Ow. Are you okay? Sorry about your flowers. Oh, and the oil leak or something oh god no no buddy uh let's not drive this um i'm worried it's gonna explode oh god almost out of time the way this stress ball right now is i'm gonna about to break it you gotta be kidding you didn't see it before come on Grab on, grab on to the truck. It'll take you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, Pope. Yes, Pope. Come on. Yes. Try to balance. Oh God, I could never do this. I can't balance in my life. And there's a turn. Oh God. Mm, good. No lightning, you don't want to do this. You don't want to give them some grace period? You don't know where they were. You don't know where he was, had to drive all the way here. He's here! Oh. You're late! Put the gun down! There we go, there we go, there we go. Team up, team up. Three against one. Oh god, oh god. He's about to get shot, he's about to get shot. Yep. Damn. Oh, okay, uh, and he's about to take the necklace, amulet, whatever. Stay with me. Stay with me. Damn. Whoa! He did. He did care about her. He tried to help her multiple times. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, 
another death on this show. God damn, so many this season so far. So many dead bodies. These guys have no idea what they've missed. Every single time we see them, something goes wrong. Like you have no idea. How'd it go? Pope. What is that? Yeah. Is that blood? It's not Cleo. Oh, who's blood? Pope. Pope, what happened? Pope, what happened? Where's Cleo? He's in shock, bit. She's inside. Cleo. You make it sound like Cleo's dead. God. No offense to what's his name, but he's not one of the cool. Face. And Terrence. Terrence, that's his name. I wish I could have done something more. Yeah, listen, to me. Just, listen, to me. listen to me. Listen to me. What are you guys going to do? Call the police? No, man, just they already kind of believe you might have killed the old man. Now there's dead body in your house. Mm. It's not your fault, Paul. You did your literal best. The amount of accidents, the way you almost died on the way here multiple times. Blackgate of Charleston. Blackbeard unloaded something at the Half Moon Battery. He hit something in Charleston. Okay, so we're going to Charleston? I Charleston. I don't know. Good question. And oh no. Real bad timing. Millar. They have the amulet. But I bet you they haven't figured out how to translate it yet. It might take them a little bit of time, but not long. Oh, shit. Let's cover up the dead body, maybe. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, why is he here? He's just sitting in his car. That's not creepy at all. We have a dead body. What are we gonna do? Shit, what do you mean, what are we gonna do? We have to tell the truth. Are you kidding me? Are oh, they gonna believe you, though? Someone broke into our house. He did shoot. And attacked us he, and stole from us. He's never gonna believe us. He could. I think there's a chance he may. Okay, I don't know. It's better than staying here. Number one rule, never trust a cop, especially that one. Okay? Why that one? He's not that bad. I don't think so. JJ, he seems to actually be semi-competent. I need you to make a decision right now. Was Why him? Me? Sorry, but he's not your... He's kind of the de facto leader, but he's not really. I know you're in there. Come on out. What we're going to do, episode ending, of course. We'll have to see in the next episode. The finale. The mid-season finale. All right, so... Oh, this episode... I'm going to start with the stuff that had me less enraged, which is saying a lot because I was enraged a lot this episode. Mm. Hold on to this guy here. So, so let's talk with Cleo. Cleo has been kidnapped by Terrans and his and people. The, 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 the one guy who's working with the lady and they hired Terrans. And Terrans, I thought, I don't know, can we trust him? But we trust him good for Terrence. He tried multiple times to protect Cleo and he ended up sacrificing himself to protect her, so good on you, Claire, uh, Terrence. I don't know what they're, what they're gonna do with this body. I feel so bad for Cleo. He was like a father figure to her, which is ugh, sad. And then Pope just can't handle this kind of stuff in general, so um, that whole sequence of Pope trying to get there was very intense. Um... Pope was also researching stuff and fa figured out Half Moon means a half moon, like, barricade or something in Charleston that was, I guess, used for flooding or something. I don't know. Um, so we'll be going to Charleston, I'm assuming, the next episode. And checking it out. Uh, now we have a dead body, too, so I don't know what they can do with that. Take it with them on the boat and go to Charleston and dump it somewhere. Feels very rude, though, to Terrence. Um... I think what else besides the one thing I want to talk about but I'm gonna hold till the end for that um even though I shared my opinion a lot of, about it a lot on uh, it's hard to remember what else happened on this episode because I can only remember the end and the turtles I can't honestly think of anything else that happened is that all that really happened all right so let's get to the turtles then 
we all go to the beach. Fun beach today. Supposed to be good swells and what all, whatever. Of course, of course, the pokes find a nice quiet spot. And then, of course, the kooks have to come in and take it over. You could have gone five minutes down the beach. A little follow away. Wouldn't have been a big deal. They want to fight. The kooks want to start shit because that's all they know what to do. They are spoiled, rich little brats who use their parents' money and act like because their parents have money, they have money and they're big and they're badass. I'm like, no, you're not. What are you doing all day? Do you go to school? Do you, do you have a job? Do you guys just hang around all day using your parents' money and the cars they bought you and all the fancy stuff? <laughs> um, so that's all happening. Um, JJ does like, kind of, f fuck, not, <laughs> what's the word I'm trying to use, um, JJ starts a little th something with Topper by taking his wave, I get it, rude, but also, not that big a deal, in the scheme of things, like, was it that big of a deal to just let it go and be like, ugh, that's fucking annoying, fuck JJ, and then just keep having your day, like, you don't have to keep talking about it for hours on end, and, having to get revenge i i hate that i see topper trying to do a good thing and trying to make peace but then the people around him the other kooks including his dumbass girlfriend who is at my shit list right now she can go die in hell wow. okay sorry calm down she's a fictional character so not like i'm actually wanting the actress or anything she's good at playing asshole good for her good actress she really got found a way to get me pissed off at her character. She did a good job. <laughs> um, when she's like, "Be are you going to be a man? Ballsy, all this stuff. is like, you don't have to be a man. Being a man does not mean getting revenge and getting angry. It means being a fucking grown up and accepting, okay, we don't have to fight over every little thing. We can be at peace together for one fucking afternoon. But no, the dumbass teenagers actually some of them they're probably mostly like 18 19 so they're kind of adults now so this bitch whose name i don't care i don't even want to know i'm not gonna look it up because all i know is she's bitch that is her name now it is her official name on imdb i'm gonna go and change the character's name to bitch because that is who she is that is her role now on this show i know wraith and wood were are bad and all but I feel like they wouldn't kill turtles. They have a limit. But yeah, these little babies are hatching turtles and they're trying to stop them. Because this bitch convinces Topper to come in the car and she decides, I'm gonna go crazy and try to run over some people on the beach because that's what I do for fun. Because you have to put them in their place for some reason. Because what, they already don't have that much money and you're apparently so rich and better than them so why do you have to prove it so much? If you really were that much better than them, you wouldn't have to. It would, it, everyone would know. But apparently, you're not that much better. Because you have to stoop down two levels out of beneath Satan himself. Sorry. I love a baby turtle. I love animals in general. The fact that... You, even though, yeah, she doesn't know there are turtles there. Okay. But... Be mature, first of all, and don't try to run them over with the car. Second of all, you see everyone going like this, waving, stop... Maybe, maybe, I don't know, use your, a brain cell, one, just half of a brain cell, use it momentarily for a minute second, and you might think, let's stop for a second, hear them out, and if they're just waving you down to stop them from running them over, okay, continue if you're a psycho like that, but maybe listen for a second, and you might realize you were doing something stupid, and to do it a second time, and then for Kiara to bring the little dead turtle body, and you have about one millisecond of remorse before you go back into bitch mode, and be like, you dumb little bitch, and then JJ, rightfully so, is like, you come near me and my friends again, I'll kill you. I've said that before. I've said it many times. It does not mean I'm actually gonna go kill you, so this dumb bitch, is going to be like, oh, let's call our lawyers. Oh, not your lawyers, so your parents' lawyers. Your parents are really going to support you in spending how many thousands of dollars to pay a lawyer just because a kid threatened you and didn't actually do anything to you, but you killed turtles? So let's do that in a courtroom. Oh, I feel so bad for you. Someone says they hit you and then they will kill you if you come near them again, which you don't need to because you did that and you didn't have to. And then all I'm going to go is to a jury and be like... You fucking kill turtles. Here we go. Baby turtle. Dead. Your fault. 
send her to fucking jail, send her away. God, this bitch. And to be like, Topper is being a pussy because he's not like fighting on your side when you want to sue the, someone who threatened you when you just killed a baby turtle and tried to run them over with a car twice. I had to decompress after this episode. I got back into the anger again after I finally calmed down from it, the scene itself, and then talking about it again. Mm -hmm. I hate her. Bitch needs to go away. As I said, if she's a casualty of these bad guys and happens to be in the way, I'm not going to be sad. Not one iota of sadness. She's not bringing anything to this show. At least, Rave's girlfriend... I like her. She has a soul. She is not going to stay there and hang out with them just because they're rich and they're hot people. No, she's like, okay, fuck, I want to go home. <laughs> they're psychos. When you show me who you are, I'm going to accept it. I'm not going to make rationale and be like, mm, having a bad day. Oh, they took his wave. Me <laughs> too. Like, really. He took his wave. And the whole Topper and John B. argument of it all, the Topper being like, well, you drowned my boat. First of all, daddy's boat, not your boat. Oh, you beat me up. Ooh. But also, Topper, you forget you pushed him off a lighthouse. It may have been accidental, but you still did it. Second of all, you lit his house on fire. Isn't that enough of revenge? Taking his entire house while he beat you up and you got, you seem to be perfectly fine. No bad injuries that sustained anything because you have rich parents with good insurance and they probably covered it all and you don't have to pay for anything because you're a spoiled brat. Um, he did take the girlfriend, but then you cheated on with her and when that's when they were actually like technically like engaged or married or whatever the thing is so you're not any better just because he took your girlfriend technically she didn't she didn't john b didn't take top you can't take someone first of all second of all she willingly left him and went to john b because he was kind of a, mm, basic no offense topper he's on and off it's it's one of the things like i feel like topper is deep down inside is a good guy but he's so surrounded by all these bad people and he lets his anger get control of him that he does bad, stupid things. And it's like, he's uh, he's one of the more complicated characters on this show that truly is not evil or, like, good. He has moments of each. He's more in the gray area. It's actually, he's kind of similar to JJ in that way. JJ, hard gold, but makes mistakes, fucks up. Lets his anger take control. Lets his need to cause chaos take control. They're kind of similar, if you think about it. Rafe, pretty evil. He may be hot, but he's evil. Um, yeah, and we know where everyone else lies. Oh, <sighs> okay, you guys. <laughs> this was my discussion here about, um, season four, episode four. We only have one more episode, and I saw it's like an hour or something long, so it's a pretty long one. Um, I'll probably watch that tomorrow on Monday, because we have a three-day weekend, so no school on Monday, so no work. Amen. <laughs> So I get plenty of days to catch up on filming and get tons done. So definitely since we have Hot Stopper and Out of Banks out. So that means there's a lot of filming of those. Plus my other stuff. Plus my Patreon exclusive shows. Plus my requests from people on Patreon. I have a lot to film. So it's a good time to have a three day weekend. Really good. Um, but yeah. So one more episode left. Um, I can't wait. Can't wait at all. So please don't forget to like, subscribe. Check out Patreon link down below. If you want to watch Hot Stopper. Uh, out of Banks, Bob's Burgers, Futurama, South Park, all these other shows, fully unedited and very early. So go check that out. And I hope you're having a fantastic day. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.